the past couple of years, Intel has been ruling both the desktop and laptop processor market. In terms of success, they were so far ahead from their closest competitor, AMD, that it seemed that Intel was untouchable. General people and gamers always turned towards Intel to buy new processors. Intel was so popular among people that even game developers started to create games that would perform better on Intel processors. But the game has changed. When AMD came with their second generation of Ryzen processor, they offered more features in processors that are very low price compared to the Intel processors with same specs. Out of all the AMD processors, the Ryzen 5 2600 hurt Intel the most. It was the top selling Ryzen processor on Amazon for, for over a year. Recently, it was replaced by another Ryzen processor. To counter AMD, Intel released their 9th generation processors in late 2018. And to counter the aforementioned Ryzen 5 2600, Intel introduced the Core i5-9400, 9400F and 9600K processor. When it comes to overall performance, can any of them beat the 2600 or the relatively newer 3600? That is a topic for another day, but today, I am going to find out which one of these three gives better overall performance. Many of you are often confused when you go to buy an Intel processor and see a random letter at the end of the game. The 9400, 9400F and 9600K are the 9th generation Core i5 processor. But what's the difference between them? The 9400 is a common Intel processor with UHD 630 graphics and the 9400F comes without integrated graphics. Do you see the difference? The Intel processors with F in the name means that it does not come with integrated graphics card. In case of 9600K, it is a processor that comes with overclockable features so that you can overclock it to get the maximum output. In case of letters, Intel does not stop here. There are many versions of the same processor that comes with a different name, but we will talk about them in the future. Let's get back to the topic at hand. There isn't much to differentiate between the 9400 and the 9400F except for the integrated graphics part. Both processors are equipped with 6 cores and 6 threads, with a base frequency of 2.9GHz and max turbo frequency of 4.1GHz, the 9400 and 9400F are almost inseparable in terms of specs. The thing that separates them is the price. The 9400F is priced at $145 and the 9400 is priced at around $190. On paper, the 9400F is a great deal for gamers when compared to the 9400 because they can save $45 on processor and use that on a graphics card. But for those who are looking for a basic computing, the 9400 will attract more consumers. Even though the 9600K is also a hexa-core processor, but it will give you a completely different experience than other two. The base clock frequency starts at 3.7 GHz and the max frequency of this processor is 4.6 GHz. You can also reach higher frequency by overclocking it. Like the other two, it has 9 MB of cache memory, it can be used for gaming and editing purposes. Let's get to the benchmark. I use the ASUS H370 Pro Gaming Motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM and GD1060 graphics card with all processors. On the Cinebench R20, the 9600K scored 15% better than the 9400 and F on single core and multi core. The 9400 comes second by beating the 9400F on the both performance. We tested and counted the average FPS at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K gaming, and surprisingly, the performance remained the same for all three of them. This speaks a lot about how great the 9400F is. Its price is significantly lower than the other two, but it was still able to give the same output as the 9400 and 9600K. While the 9600K can be overclocked up to 5.1 GHz, I overclocked the 9600K to 4.8 GHz. The ASUS H370 Pro Gaming motherboard does not support overclocking and that's why I use the ROG Maximus Code motherboard for that. Let's see the difference on Cinebench R20. The overclocked 9600K scored 8% better on single core and 9% better on multi-core performance. As it can be overclocked to 5.1 GHz, there are still room for improvement. This feature can be helpful for video editors because with it, you will be able to get more. Let's get to the results. In case of performance, the 9600K is the undisputed king of the 9th generation Core i5 processors. 
But if you are short on money and thinking of buying either 9400 or 9400F, then I would recommend you get the 9400F if you already have a dedicated GPU. You can get the 9400 if you are planning on buying a GPU later. So that's it for today. I hope that I was able to help you choose which processor you should get. If you like this video and found it helpful, then please give it a like and subscribe to our channel.